Okay, so that's really loud and annoying. We're gonna have to fix that right now. Well, hello everybody, this is Strugman, and welcome back to Engineer's Life 2. We're kind of been uh, a little busy doing a few things today. I've been kind of just playing a little bit off camera, trying to catch a couple of things up, doing a little bit of automation and getting a couple of things crafted. So, added a few more crafters in. I wanted to make sure that the steel uh, automation that we had set up as far as the redstone control up here is functional. And it led to a kind of an interesting little problem, which the refined storage system, I have no idea why, couldn't see these drawers when I first logged into the game for whatever reason. So it saw the thing, I mean the storage, the, the whatever, the, <clears throat> excuse me, whatever that thing is called down here, the uh, the storage container thingy here, where, where is your axe? Where, do, do this the correct way. It saw the external storage down here, but it wasn't reading what was in these drawers for whatever reason. And I went over here to the disk drive that we have, and well, the, the, I guess, like I said, the reason why I was saying it was odd is, is that it was, it, I couldn't see the amount in here. I could only see what was being inserted into the system as a number, but the numbers over there were going up, which was weird. So it ended up, I don't know why, I ended up just pulling the disk drives out of this disk drive or the disks out of this disk drives, and the problem went away. So I don't know, maybe it's a 116 issue. I don't have any, I've never had that problem happen before. So uh, we do have a new network transmitter receiver set up out in the middle of the base. So I can now hit everything or at least a good chunk of, I should say out in the base, out in the factory over here. Got a good decent amount of the area now covered with the wireless. So that guy's sitting right here and we can now stand out here and do a little bit of crafting. So when we need it, we've got it. Uh, that will allow us to do a little bit more monitoring as well. Plus, I'll probably start hooking a couple of things up. So once we get to that point, I mean, there's going to be some more more things that I think I'm going to be hanging into here pretty soon and getting some stuff going. So we'll see what happens today. After all of that wonderful little ramble on, um, I kind of wanted to do a little bit of work over in this area to kind of start working on our next thing. And our next thing is going to be, we're gonna kind of let the refined storage system kind of do its thing for a little while. We need to get a little bit more power. And I know it's kind of that point and we're in the end of the kind of, what I'm kind of considering or figuring is we're getting kind of close to the end of the pack at this point. But in order to continue doing some of the stuff that we're doing, we need more power. I'm pretty well maxed out on all of the power generation that's over here. And we're starting to see these two right here fluctuate a little bit to the point that I had to actually go add in another oil pump over here so that we could get enough. We're, yeah, we're fluctuating for whatever reason. So I could get enough power in so that we could actually do some of the stuff that we needed to do. So we're actually back up on gasoline now. Beautiful. Is that nice and full on gasoline? See, this this is the issue is, is I keep I keep fooling around having these little problems and I don't want to accidentally burn up or get rid of the gasoline so much to the point that I even set up a flare stack up there and oh my God, are those things loud that is going to be burning off the excess uh, lubricant that we're getting now and then. So um, it, it's it's been kind of a thing and I, I have this way muffled right now. When I turn that thing off, it's, it's like literally just the rocket taking off loud just it's ridiculous so um let's go ahead and take a nap and then we can start talking about what we're going to do to try to make our power better okay so with the next sections of the chapters available to us we're going to be looking into the extreme reactor chapter basically and part of that is going to be into here where becoming an engineer so becoming an engineer is going to require us to kind of well becoming an engineer in order to be able to kind of just finish the rest of this out let's go ahead and just kind of do a few things here so the first thing we need to do is the part of the arc furnace was able to allow us to get a few more of these resources that we need in order to be able to do a few things so if we take a look down this line over here we have a thing that says hey you've already gotten this yeah it's because i've already dug up a bunch of this stuff we now have eight of it so we're gonna go ahead and take a little bit of thing we got a magma cream wonderful and uh between episodes i guess we can go run over here i went ahead and stuck up a excavator on the s deposit that's right here technically the deposit is right 
here so we're losing a small percentage of having it over there i was just going to stick it over the water but that kind of really just didn't get me interested in in doing that i didn't like where it ended up so i set it over there so it'll at least kind of be functionally decent to look at but still work so what we're going to do today is we're going to kind of work through this and see how much of an extreme reactor system we can get set up so that's why i put that auto crafter over here this auto workbench whatever this thing is called uh assembler i don't know why i keep calling that thing an auto something it's an assembler the reason why I want to do this is because an assembler is going to allow us to automate the production of the eulorium dust that we're going to need to be able to craft the fuel or the eulorium ingots plus the other things. Some of this is going into the actual stuff, but we're going to have to crack through this little section before we can actually get anything going. So let's grab a little bit of the current pre-processed uranium grit that we have. Uh, I think probably we'll 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 just do we'll do two stacks of this stuff for right now, and we're gonna stick it in this assembler, and we're sticking it over here because the gasoline is right here. So I take a bucket of gasoline and I take some uranium. Hello game, let me have my mouse control grit. Now that'll be able to do that. So we toss some of this stuff in here, and it should start immediately crafting that right up for us nicely, so that we can go ahead and get on with our fun stuff. So that's the Eulorium grit. Let me go ahead and put this bucket of gasoline back in there if it'll let me do it. It did, good. That's gonna eat up quite a bit of stuff and I don't wanna technically craft all this stuff just yet because I don't exactly know how much we have. I mean, I think I've got a thousand, but I went ahead and made a whole bunch of it into the regular uranium ingots. So let's see, put the that thing away. We don't need it. All right, so quests, that should be there. That's yellow cake. We get eight of those. Thank you very much. Process, but not edible. Cake of this will make you a lot of energy just by not eating. Cool. So then Eulorium ingots. We need to make Eulorium ingots, which means we need to go back to the base. Alrighty then. So in order to make the Eulorium ingots, we need to go to the arc furnace and set up some nether core, get some nether quartz and run it through the arc furnace. So we should have, what is this? Two stacks plus eight. So that shouldn't be too hard to, what did you do? That there, that's an eight one. Very good. You guys can go away. And that can go in there. Let's go upstairs and start processing some of this stuff. I'd really, really like to get one of these going if at all possible today, but I do know there's going to be a lot of crafting that we're going to have to do. So let's see. We need to tell this thing right here. You already have your nether quartz in place. Good. And you should need to do your lime dust. Okay, cool. So all I should have to do is do that, 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 and that. And those will go to work just as soon as they fill up. So, all right, cool. There goes our first ingot. Where is my wireless crafting grid? And ding. Awesome. Cool. So, a little bit of experience. What else do we get as far as loot crates? Loot crates. Cool. Chanted book. Chanted book. What do we get? We get protection four. That's kind of handy. And volley. I already have that i think but we'll, we'll we'll check it out that's that's neat click and we can go over here and put those in the thing i actually would like to put you in here with these fellers because we have other things that we need to be doing besides playing around with armors and enchantments and stuff so that should have cracked that chapter open for us or at least allowed us to be able to see inside this and this one's getting pretty full i don't know if we're going to do everything that we need to do as far as what's in here i may just start knocking some of this stuff off camera just just get it over with and done i see no reason to make either one of these two machines at this point we don't need it um, every little bit of bitumen that we're going to be getting as far as this is concerned. I mean, I can craft all this stuff and get it into our inventory and that basically just gets us the, 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 the you know, the quest completed. Um, I'm not going to build it because we don't need it. Everything we're going to be doing with that stuff is going to be going into that fuel system over there. And that's, that's pretty much all I think we're ever going to need that for. So I'm not concerned too terribly about it. All right, we need to look at the rest of what we were doing. So let's go back over here to Peaceful Atom. Glowing power thing. You probably already have some Eulorium laying around. Why not put them to use? Let's build a simple reactor. Um, 
there is a couple of ways, and I know it's going to be right now, this is going to be how we're going to get the Yellorium Dust, but there is a way to get the Yellorite Ore. And the reason why I haven't touched it yet is because we have a ton of the other stuff. But you can get Yellorite, you should be able to, with the way this pack has been played, we should be able to get Yellorite Ore from a laser, or uh, from a laser drill, from the, where is this? Uh, industry and beyond chapter there should be a laser drill right there we can build one of those and set it up put a yellow filter in it and it should pull any ore out of the ground that has a yellow tinge to it which means it would probably do that and i may with the rate at which we're eating through these things get ready to set one of those up for our diamonds because i i don't have production of diamonds and we're getting a little low every time i make something new from a zis system here we end up using a bunch of more diamonds so let's see what we can do about getting through the next steps here i want to do peaceful atom i want the book the extreme reactors book let's see what the book says i have not messed with extreme reactors in a good long time so we're gonna go ahead and do the fun stuff and while i'm at it give me that too cool thank you because I know I need that for the later on down the road thing. So we'll just go ahead and put you in here, unless I was given one, who knows. Click on the book. I will take the cookies and the milk, put that in my lunchbox, which I think is starting to get a little empty. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of work on that, but no big deal. What else do we have our down the line? We're gonna go up to the top one first and probably work. I, I, I don't know if we're gonna do a turbine. It depends on whether or not I think we need it. We've had so much trouble with the power generational transmission in this pack that I'm kind of wondering whether or not it's even worth my time. So we need to make a reactor controller. It wants us to make all of those parts. The controller, 22 reactor casings, uh, reactor fuel rods, control rods, basic, all the fun stuff's here. I'm gonna go ahead and knock all of the crafting out for that because I actually need to go smelt a bunch of this into a bunch of stuff. So I will be back with you guys once I get that sorted. Alrighty then, I think I've got everything somewhat figured out. So I had to go craft some of the graphite that we need in order to be able to make some of these parts. So let's check out some of this stuff here real quick. Extreme reactor. Uh, I don't know what it's doing here. Let me see. Casing. Um, I went ahead and set up a few of the recipes that we're going to need in order to be able to do a few of this stuff. So we'll kind of take a look at this as we go. I needed to make a bunch of graphite, which we're already making graphite dust. So all you have to do is just take that and you smelt it in a, you know, at one of these and it will in an arc furnace and it'll make the graphite bars. So I just went and grabbed a whole bunch of that stuff so we can get it sorted. I'm going to go through and do what the quest says up here. We're going to build one of the baby ones. So we'll, we'll just build one of the little teeny tiny ones. So it wants 22 of those uh, reactor controller basic plus all the fun kinds of stuff. So let's go ahead and have it make, I don't know, 20, 30 of those. And we'll see where we go from there. That shouldn't be too much. We should have a whole bunch of that stuff sitting there already. So let's see. The first thing it wanted us to craft is a reactor controller basic, which is going to need something like that. I need some more torches. Just do that. That's perfectly fine. Cool. Wonderful. Nice. Click. Go. And you should be okay. There's a reactor controller. Ding, ding. No ding, ding. What are we doing? Oh, I got to check mark it. Hang on a minute. Yes, we're going to do this. Just check it. Thank you. Wonderful. And then we'll move to the next one, which is reward. And all it's doing is just showing us the stuff that we need to do. So let's see those casings that we have. Beautiful. That should do this. All right. So I want to, like I said, we're going to make the basic small one for right now, just so we can get it figured out to see how much it's going to allow us to make and they've changed it at least in since 112 uh extreme reactors never had any secondary parts it was always just the basic stuff and the basics were going to allow you to do whatever we now have the reinforced versions which will allow us to build a monstrosity but the reinforced versions require steel and a lot of iron or a lot of these reactor casings to craft and it's actually That's actually, that looks a lot cheaper to do it that direction. It's going to be a lot more graphite heavy, but that's a lot of iron and steel right here. 
considering that you get one for that that's a terrible recipe yeah i would this is no, this is nothing and that yeah that that's that's what five more pieces of iron per block wow okay whatever sidetrack i know let's get ahead and, and make a few of our stuff so let's see we need those then we need um all of the things that I've already set up. I would like two of those, please. You need a... I forgot to set up hoppers. I have a hopper right there. All right. At port. Oh, ow. Ha. Duh. Make another one. It's like, wait a minute. What are you doing? We need one more, please. Thank you. We have plenty of that stuff. Two of those, please. Take those. A forge energy port. Now this is important, and this is why I've got the book out. We want the active version because I want this thing to actively try to do things for us. Um, reading in the manual, passive and active parts is a very important thing to understand. Notate here. Passive part will do nothing by itself. It does not try to send out energy, fluids, or items. It will try or nor try to acquire them. The block connected to the part needs to make the needs to take the initiative and start the transfers. An active part always is looking for an opportunity to extract items, fluids, or send out power. Send out power. Now, I, I don't even understand why there's a difference in how this whole thing works. So th th there's a, I guess it's just one more expensive than the other kind of thing. So let's see here. We need a control rod. We need one of those, which is a bunch of parts here again. And I need a fuel rod. It's a rod, right? That thing right there, the reactor fuel rod. We'll start one of those again. Not really all that expensive. We're just going to make a little bitty three by three dude here. Let's see, reactor casing. Do we use all of the casing? I might need a little bit more casing. Go ahead and do that again. So we'll do that. And then we're going to go outside and we're going to go pop this guy down and see what it does. Do I have enough Eulorium right now to even run this thing? I do. Grab a stack of that too while you're at it. Love how the in, in inventory slowly becomes so full of stuff that it just doesn't, <laughs> it's unusable and it's dark. Okay, cool. Let's see if we can find a place to put this little guy down. We're going to have to do some thinking, I think, but since we have power right here, I think for temporary sake, we may just take up this section right here. Uh, it's just, that's not exactly what I want to do, but I want to play with it. I want to see how, we'll see what has changed if anything has changed. So I guess we'll just kind of, that's a nice line to look at. It shouldn't be too bad to do anything. I mean, it's the same thing as any other little teeny tiny reactor that I've ever made. I never make them this small anymore. We didn't, you know, it, it it's, it's almost not worth it to make them this small anymore. So let's see. Uh, I, but then again, I have no idea whether or not this has been, tweaked or played with or mess with so we're gonna put the re reactor fuel rod in the center of course this is gonna be a terribly hot horrible reactor it's not gonna run probably very well at all but we'll see uh, I want uh, this over here so that's gonna be our power tap and input output That, that, yeah, I know, we, you want one more thing, so we need to put that in the top, can I get that from here? Only fuel rods can be used here. Where is my things? Put my things down here. Only fuel rods can be used where? 69. I used the wrong one, didn't I? Awesome. Make the right one. Make the basic one. Thank you. There we go. Ding. Control rod. 
There it goes. There's a multi-block looking like a structure that did some things. And you will go ahead and set you to be input. You can be output. And you can have a bunch of that. And wow. Turn off the reactor and push the control rods all the way into the fuel rods. Why do I feel like this thing can blow up now? <laughs> Turn it on. How much do we make? 184. That's pretty pitiful. Okay, cool. That's wonderful. We're going to be building as big of one of these as, like I said, on this size as possible. And part of that problem is going to be I need to go ahead and get some more diamonds so that I can do a few things. But I think, I think for fun's sake at this point, I'm going to do a little bit of playing around with this radiation reduce. Yeah, everything looks about the same. I mean, I can probably make it do a little better if we could cool it. But since it's so little bitty, you can't really do anything. It's just an automatic, automatic and off okay yeah that's pretty 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 weak sauce i think we'll be uh, at least building a five by five in here uh i may go straight into i may can you whoop i hit the wrong button go back here click done uh forge any power tap basic i already have it it's right there here i don't i don't care about the multi-block just oh you want me to make a passive one i'm not going to waste my time making a passive one because it's not going to be usable hey that's cool it kept it nice all right so we're going to have to mess around with this later on like i said i will probably in between episodes at least build a five by five one of these uh, and then stuff it full of some kind of coolant. I have no idea what kind of coolant I have available that's going to be functional, but I think for the moment, that's where we're going to go. So we've got reactors up and running, or at least we have a little teeny tiny reactor up and running, and that will start to help to try to supplement some of this. I mean, to the point, I guess we could just turn it on and help it supplement some of this, and then we can end it. Where is my toolbox? Um... Why don't you kind of make this somewhat safe? All right, about there, I think. One, two, three, four, five, hammer. Where is your thing? Your toolbox needs to go over here. I need those right there. Put that away. Hang that under it. Connector. And did I not grab the wire? Wow, I'm really with it right now. I did not grab the wire. Cool. All right. Click, 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 go. That drained all that power off. We'll just turn it on and let it run and see what it does for a little while. So, all right, guys, I think I'm going to call it right there. Like I said, I'm going to do a little bit more planning offline with this and see what we can come up with. I know as far as a basic is concerned, the biggest we can build is a 5x5 five five reactor, wherever this is, uh, variants. The biggest we can build is a 5x5, five five, which kind of is a little weak, and the reinforced ones, which is basically going to be a lot of steel, can be built up to 256 blocks. Now, I don't think we're going to ever need something that big, but I think we'll try to be a little bit bigger. I might just make my bog standard 7x7 seven seven and call it good and see if it makes 24,000 RF a tick like it usually does, or 12, or whatever it is, 15,000, something. It's, it's a decent number. So, All right, guys, I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.